Hey, if you watch this show, you know that cops are out of control. It's a police culture problem. They're, it's not a bad apple problem. It's they're all in a criminal mentality because uh, they cover up for each other. And they see uh, the citizens as the enemy uh, who needs to be policed instead of a citizen who needs to be served. They're not there to uphold the Constitution. Yeah, you hear them always say, my number one job is to make sure I come home safe at night. That's not your job. Your job is to make sure I come home safe at night. That's why you're a cop. That's why you're supposed to risk your life. You're not risking your life if you shoot at every fucking thing that moves. Here's this guy. This guy is Terrence Crutcher. He's the father of four. He was headed home from a class at Tulsa Community College where he'd been studying music appreciation. His car stopped in the middle of the road and it stalled. And immediately, so they didn't send a tow truck. They sent cops with guns. And what do you think happened? Well, let's let this guy tell us from local, uh, local news. According to police, this is what happened. At 36th Street North and Lewis on Friday, Terrence Crutcher's SUV was parked in the middle of the road. Police say he refused several commands to put his hands up. They also say he reached into his SUV, and that's why he, when he was hit by a taser and then after that shot, by an officer. That officer has been put on administrative leave. Her name's Betty Shelby. She's been on the force for almost five years. And uh, police say that this. Oh, what did they say? Afternoon at one. OK, so uh, so if you heard the report, police say he uh, wasn't following orders and wouldn't put his hands up. Well, let's watch. Let's go to the video, shall we? Know where you at? Well, he's got his hands up there for it now. I see a guy with his hands up. I'm here with Dave Reinitz. Dave, do you see a guy with his hands up? I see a guy with both hands up. I see a guy with both hands up. Steph, do you see a guy with both hands up? I see a man with both hands up in the middle of unarmed, the street. Unarmed, has no guns, he's unarmed. I he see didn't his commit, hands. He didn't commit a crime. In fact, he's never committed a crime. His hands could be further up. There's four cops. He's unarmed. His car broke down. He's not a criminal. Mike, I'm going to hit the recorder. This guy's still walking. They had the following commands. Not for Taser, I think. They just shot him. That's the kind of feeling that's about to happen. She just shot him. That looks like a bad dude, too, to be honest with you. And that looks like a bad dude. That looks like a bad dude because he's black? That looks like that's the guy in the helicopter who says that. That looks like a bad dude, too. That's a guy whose car broke down. He's coming home from college. He's got four kids. He sings in the choir at church. That looks like a bad dude. You know why? Because he's black. And you know who said that? That's the husband of the woman who just shot him in the helicopter. Well, you know, Jimmy, how so criminals the frequently stop their vehicles in the middle of the road and just walk Start shooting around. cops? Uh, yeah. That, that's yeah, you a, know how black guys in Tulsa will stop their cars in the middle of the freeway, wait for the cops to show up, put their hands up, and then try to make a move to kill the cops? Yes. It's an old story in Tulsa. <laughs> it's an old story. <laughs> maniac cops. Again, who is this one? Who's this maniac? Officer Betty Shelby and Tyler Turnbaugh. Turnbaugh hit him with the taser. Betty Shelby hit, her, hit him with the gun, killed him. They were actually being dispatched to another call <gasps> when they came across his broken down SUV. So they're actually going to a crime. They come across a guy who's in distress. He needs help. They've got guns. They're like, fuck it. Let's shoot him. We're yeah. cops. That's what we do. Yes. And now we're going to go kill this black guy because I don't know if you know, he looks like a bad dude from the helicopter above. They can tell he's a black dude because they can tell he's black. Uh, th this is, uh, thankfully several cameras filmed the entire incident as eyewitnesses have come forward as well. The officers, the officers say Crutcher approached them and failed to obey the cops commands. He approached them. He was walking away from them. You know, with I his hands up.
we hear this time and time again how we're supposed to obey obey cops. cops commands commands so that's not like a real part of our culture or society that we command people to behave a certain way and you have to obey I don't remember getting this rule of life I never got this rule in li- of life either they never never ta- I never got that talk I'm not black by the way and my dad was a cop I didn't know it was illegal to walk up to a cop. I didn't know it was illegal to walk up to a cop either. I didn't know that was I thought when your car broke down, the cop showed up, you went over and you said, hey, man. Hey, can my you car's call, broken down. Can you call AAA? So he came over probably to talk to the cops, and they went, hey, get your hands up. He goes, oh, God damn it. Exactly. Uh, my car's broken down. I'm coming home from school. I'm a good dude. I'm a, I don't have a gun. I don't have blah, blah, blah. And then they just went, well, you know what? We're going to shoot you anyway. And here's the thing. Well, there's a more to this. They, this is this is according to the cops. As Crutcher reached into his SUV, Turnbull fired his taser, and shortly after, Shelby shot and killed the man, authorities say. But one eyewitness who spoke to Fox 23 in Tulsa communicated that everything about what the police have said happened is inaccurate. That, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to believe that woman. The only reason I would is because every time something like this happens, the cops lie. Cops prove themselves to be completely 100% criminals who cover up for other murderers. And that's what they did here. Cops are, they murdered someone, and then the other cops covered up for the murderer. That is the culture. It's that's the culture. So they cover up for murder. They're just, they're a gang. Cops are a gang. Keep that in mind. Cops are a gang, and they shoot people who aren't in their gang, especially if they're black. And it doesn't matter if it's a black officer or a white officer. They kill black guys faster. You, the guy in the helicopter could tell he was a bad dude in the helicopter. A guy whose car just broke down. Hope they shoot him. Right? Okay, so here is more to this. She said that Crutcher had his hands in the air and was walking very slowly and carefully, fully aware that being in the presence of police was dangerous when he was shot and killed. The video showed him be, his hands up. Yeah, I think at this day and age, you know that if you're black and there's a cop, this that's dangerous. That's dangerous. They're gonna, they're probably gonna kill me. I know when cops pulled their guns on me, I was afraid I was gonna get shot. Yeah, and I know if I get shot, they're gonna find a gun on me. Listen, I'm a middle class, middle aged white guy. I'm driving down the street. I see a cop coming in the other direction. <laughs> I get nervous, <laughs> and I got nothing to hide. It's just, it, it is. You need to be scared of cops. They're dangerous. Sharks, I'm not worried about. I'm not not as worried about sharks as I am cops. You know, and you certainly have to be worried that these people were dispatched to another crime scene. To another crime scene. And somehow this happens. This explodes in front of them. Immediately. Like, it didn't take long for them to shoot that guy. And he wasn't doing anything. Uh, His relatives say he was unarmed. This is what I like. I like black, this guy, Black Irish tweeted, attempts to raise awareness about police reform in America. Police have killed 67 people in 22 days since Copernic attempted to raise awareness about police reform in America. Police have killed 67 people in America since he started not standing for the national anthem. They've killed well, it's not like it was in people. three weeks. 67 people in 22 days in America. You know how many people they killed in England? I'm going to guess zero. I'm going to guess zero. Uh, here's from uh, Sean King tweeted, Officer Shelby had extensive emergency medical training and had a medical bag in her car, but refused to provide Terrence any care. You see that all the time, right? They just leave them laying there. They did that. I didn't want to play it. I don't want to show it. But they did. They leave the guy laying there. They just leave him laying there for about five minutes. They just shot him. They just leave him laying there. Just like when in in Minnesota, when that, that the black guy said, I have a gun. I just want to let you know I have a gun in my car. And the cop said, show me your ID. He went to get his ID. Cop shot him and killed him. And then kept the gun on him while he bled to death. Instead of helping him, kept the gun on him while he bled to death. You remember that? That's, this is what's wrong with cops. And this is what's wrong with our culture, our policing culture. It's not individual cops. It's a culture of policing in America that sees you as the other. You're the enemy. You're not a citizen to be served ever. You're a citizen to be your problem, to be policed. And my biggest responsibility is to myself and my wife to make sure I'm okay. So if I got to kill you, I'll kill you. That's the cop's mentality. You've heard politicians repeat it. It's not just if I got to kill you, because I don't got to kill you. I mean, there's a choice being made. You there's know, a choice being made. It used to be a cop would punch a guy in the face. You never hear about a cop punching anybody because they, <laughs> they just, just shoot, shoot him you. Now. They just shoot they you. They just shoot you. Yeah.